Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a short VBA code that I think you'd find very useful. You know, whenever I use VBA, a lot of times I have to import information from other files. And this short code that I'm going to show you is actually going to allow you to import sheets from closed files. And of course, in the future, you can you can build on that and manipulate the data, and of course, build many things on that. So let's first show you how it works, and then break down the code. So I just put a button here, and you can see the button prompts you to upload some sort of file. It only gives you the option to upload Excel files, and for example, I have created this file with some data and you see that basically what it did it copied my data I got a, a message box data updated which I know that the code worked and I have the data copied as is including um, the formulas so this is exactly the sheet that was saved think about the code it copies only um, only the um, the uh, saved sheet. So if you have more than one sheet over there in the file and you want to copy more, then you need to change a bit the code. Okay, so this is for a specific specific um, case. Uh, now let's take a look at the code itself. So I'm accessing the code. As you see, it's very very short, very quick. So the first line is where we have set up the, the uh, parameters. I have only three parameters here. Two of them are the worksheets that I use for copying the data and a variant called my file. Okay, so first of all, I go ahead and set the current worksheet to be WD or, or um, worksheet destination. Um, then I have this code which I'm using the application get open file name. Basically what it does, it prompts the user to select an Excel file. If the user did not select a file, then it terminates the uh, code. I don't want if you don't have this line, then you just bring the um, user to a, a debug debug um, uh, process. Let me just show you. So if I click and click cancel, it just stops. If I hadn't had that row here, let me show you. Okay. Then I'm all of a sudden here, and if you're building this for other users, this could be quite um, quite uh, annoying for them. So that's that's a recommendation. Then what I'm doing is I'm opening the file, okay, and I want to set WS to be the active sheet over there. And this is where you can be a little bit more creative if you want to copy more than one sheet. You can just build a, a loop here. And here's where I copy the data and I'm um, this is something I normally do. I stop the screen updating. It just moves the macro much quicker. And I'm just copying the source sheet before the active sheet. And move to activate. Close the uh, source file. Bring back the screen updating and prompt message. And of course, this is usually like the first step of a big code that I build, and I usually have a lot of other manipulation taking place, and hopefully soon I'll upload more VBA codes to show you how I manipulate the data furthermore, like uh, deleting, changing, transposing, things like that, and eventually arranging the data so you can create better outputs from them. 
So I'm hope, hoping that you like this quick video and this helps you. If you want me to share with you the code, just write me a comment and I'll send it over, the file with the code. Um, and uh, if you like my content, please subscribe down below on the red subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.